Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke, and today in Last Epoch, I'm releasing my full session first in intro to the Acolyte, who reached level 8 and to where Belfast was stolen. I'll be noting various aspects of gameplay, design, gear, and so forth along the way. Enjoy! Alright, we're going to keep playing offline, get some impressions of how everything's going. There's, uh, Luarka, my sentinel. Luaruk, my mage, and let's uh, keep going last epoch's realm, I guess. So let's try, uh, let's give someone else a try here. It's got the rogue, honestly one of my least favorite classes to play. It's the rogue, bow, uh, Amazon type class. Primalist, I just did uh, Sentinel, that seems like melee of some kind, so we'll go full summoner here. We'll do the Acolyte. Essentially a Necromancer. You need a good name for an Acolyte. Larwa. Larwa sounds like a good... Necromancer name. Alright, let's check out the Acolyte. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. So who is this guy? She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. Lagon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole a terror away. So, narrator any terror? There was conflict. Lovers. Then wars. In so Terra withered away. Who sought to outshine the sun that would the world into his flame. Took things into his own hands. Court decided to conquer the world. Gaze with the keepers. An order sworn to protect Terra's memory. Where did Terra go? The power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. Me, a traveler, willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? It's crazy that some of the textures in the 3D world, or was this fate? <clears throat> in the 3D world, in the game environment, kind of fall on their ass. But because no story is the 2D artwork is just simple. incredible. Like it's it's fantastic. Like every time a load screen comes in, I'm I'm drawn in. Okay, that was interesting. All right, so we have the acolytes. What you looking like? Psychotic goth girl who had maybe a little too much meth. Yeah, you look a little creepy. I guess that's the point. If these keepers will accept my aid. They would be fools to deny my power. We'll find out. So what is this? We got Rip Blood. Obviously just attack. Probably not gonna be using too much. Let's do Rip's blood out of a target, dealing physical damage, and orb of blonde is drawn back to you, restoring ten health. Okay. Everything is very, like, nice from afar, but then when you kind of zoom in... So this looks fine, but you can tell, like, there's absolutely no detail in any of these leaves. Aside from maybe, like, one little flat line across. 
Like again, I get, I get saving space. Alright, we know about the letter. The letter's from me. Oh. Alright, get rid of all that. Let me know my path from here. Oh, this might be difficult. Oh, this guy's gonna be so rough. I'm just gonna have to lead him all the way back to the start. Whoa, why'd I go so slow? That wasn't too bad. This is gonna get tough. Well, I mean, I'm getting health every time I do it, so... Uh oh Alright, health's dropping a bit. Health's dropping a lot. I do not need to be close to this flame spire at all. Skeleton, thank god. Skills automatically add, we know that. Jade ring. Dodge, sure. Uh, press A to give your minions a command attack. Attack command. Three skeletons at a time. Alright, so it's random skeleton archer or skeleton melee. Let's find out. Yeah, completely random. Okay. Well, at least it gives you some options. If you want all melee or if you want, uh... I suppose you probably can't get all melee or all... And it probably does one after another, huh? Archer, melee, archer, melee. Okay, yeah. So probably two melees and one archer. I want people attacking. Yes, I know how to swap skills, thank you. And they'll still try to target you, huh? Some of them ran right past the skeletons. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. Nope, wrong way. Back to the burning forest. He's burned alive. Don't need to check on him again. That guy right there, our friend. I probably got a passive skill, didn't I? No, not yet. Gain one passive, your first passive point at, what, level three? Then you just gain one when you level every time? Is that how that works? Forbidden knowledge. Oh, yeah, it just adds intellect and resistance. Armor and minion armor. Damage and minion damage. So, does that mean damage for me? I'll probably do minion damage, huh? 
so I can just respawn them pretty quick. I don't really care about minion armor. Alright. Yeah. Damage and minion damage. And then what is this? This is... Fire sharpened bones from your body. The bones pierce through enemies inflicting damage. Instead of mana, 9% of your current health is consumed. Hmm. <coughs> I'll just swap those out. Alright, it's interesting. Was there a family? It was my mistake. They were cornered. I can have yeah, so it's all your mistake. To stay back. What good are we if we... Oh, sorry. I just... Are you also here for the peace talk? Good. Because so am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, I wonder... Which of us will take down more Ospricks? Come. Let me watch you fight. Where my skeletons go? Did they all die? Smoke. Forty-four damage and thirty damage. Traveling staff. Melee damage, spell damage. Negative three spell cost. It's better than that. That was this way. I think I've skipped this way every time so far. I don't think I've been this way yet. Nothing up there. Curious why that consumes health instead of mana. It doesn't really affect me in any way yet. I guess I'm just curious as to why. Yeah, why does that consume health instead of mana? I mean, I'm just I'm just curious. Could you kill yourself with it? So much destruction. And for what? Some gold. Phoenix will do a lot more damage, so we'll take him out first. He'll run up this way this time. There's a specialization. Uh, probably not going to be smacking enemies, I don't think. Alright. That's what the scepters are for. Smacking. Well, that does more damage. Whatever. I'm not going to be using scepters. I'm going to be necromancing. Wandering spirits. Reveals wandering spirits around you for six seconds. The spirits wander at random, ne dealing damage over time to enemies they pass through. Four spirits are revealed immediately after casting the skill, and 17 more revealed over the next six seconds. The spirits individually last up to four seconds, but all remaining spirits fade once the reveal duration ends. What? Oh, it's just do damage around me, I guess. Okay. Do damage. I guess that's from, uh, mass minions. Another brass scepter. It really wants me to use scepters, huh? Well, I'm not going to do that. There's a wand. Pretty crap wand. Uh, 
And well, since I know I'm not going to be attacking people, we're going to swap this out for, I guess, Rip Blood. Uh, we'll do this one. So then we'll put uh, Skeletons here, this one here, and Specialization. Probably summon Skeletons for Specialization right out of the gate. Melee. What is this? Rage. So they go crazy. So these two probably pair well together. Maximum health. And mana. Hmm. Skeletons have increased area of effect with melee skills. Skeletons do more damage. Or what was this? Skeleton warriors have more maximum health. Okay, I don't care about health. More damage. Passives, because I leveled again, and we'll keep doing damage. Is that him? Did he do that? Yeah, I guess so. That's interesting. That hasn't helped me at all yet. I really wish this could be an attack. And it kind of bothers me that Middle Mouse doesn't do anything. Yo. The easiest time I've had with that guy. I'll see you ahead. Two of the exact same amulet. One to 16 health, one to 10 health. We'll take the 16. And equipped. Now oh, it's more letters. Right. And to camp. Gold and experience. I lost my warriors. Bring them back out. Sounds Dr. Like Grail. Waiting up at the shrine. The yep. keepers have done well. This place isn't too different. A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. Even their name is... Well, what do they keep? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Now... We speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. All right. See you, See you soon, buddy. Check out my stash. See if the uh, yep, there it is. Cool. So how does this compare to this? Old damage, damage over time, chill on hit, ignite on hit. I lose my I lose one spell damage. I don't care about melee damage. I don't care about melee. So it says chance to chill or ignite on hit. I'm assuming that means hit with a spell. Since there is no melee attack with the wand? It doesn't look like. Right? I don't know. I could probably get rid of that. Alright, let's have a look at your face. Grail was just telling me of your battle. Right. I am Lena. There's one of the keepers council. Comparison's a bit not quite aligning very well. One of two. There should be more of us here. I feel like this is JRPG down here with the 2D. And this is Western Studios. 
up at the top. It is a little jarring. Yes, Balthus and I remain. And our yes, we all know about Balthus. Busy checking on our sacred artifacts. Great. Even now, the Osprey swarm all of our sacred vaults. Could you make sure he say do this? And do. And our alliance is secure. Sounds like we I'll do some work. To, army. to the gardens. I, I didn't even comment on that. See that the load screen before was awesome load screen. That was beautiful imagery. Uh, let's see what this actually does. Anything? Oh, that does a lot. Wow. Five new spill, <laughs> spill new skill. Uh, chalice. That's my. Um, what is this actually called? I mean, the slot. So everyone has a special, different name for this. Like hers are called relics. Yeah, those are called relics. So they're just they're named different things. It's bothering me. I can't figure out what the actual slot name is called. <laughs> And what was the skill here? Harvest. A melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you, dealing double damage to those that are cursed. I don't have any curses. I suppose you get them? Alright, so back to Skeleton Mastery. What's this? When a skeleton dies, there's a chance to summon a random new one at the same time. Less mana. Improved critical strike. Oh, you can summon more skeletons. That's that's what I want to go for. Skeleton rogues. It's interesting. Skeleton rogues. What other skeletons can you add here? You can summon more skeletons. Okay, so just rogues get added and... Oh, dread phalanx. Oh, that's not a different skeleton. That's just a buff. Um, how many to get to Hollow Walkers? I need three. Or is Hollow Walkers is up there. Okay. Alright, so we'll increase the mana twice, and then we'll get more skeletons. Cool. And... You forget... Oh, there's a curse. At level 9, or level 7. Okay, and passives. Uh, keep doing... Skeleton damage. Yeah, I'll keep doing skeleton damage. I don't need mana just yet. Okay. Let's clear the gardens. Oh, that's a melee strike, actually. We'll just put that on there, because that makes sense. Keep that there. We'll move this here, move the skeletons up, and we're good. Oh, that's why they died, because I switched... I switched uh, key bindings. Did that take any mana? No, nope, no mana. Okay, that's helpful. Doesn't do much damage, though. But I suppose it's not meant to. That's why it's supposed to be while you're cursed. Or while enemies are cursed. Uh, shield? What shield does that do? Block chance. And some armor. Oh, that's piercing, huh? Oh. Does it say it's piercing? Bones pierce through enemies. <laughs> I guess it says it's piercing. I mean, is that why it takes health? Because it's so OP that they want to make you feel like it's dangerous to use? Alright, get a new sash going. Get rid of that. Yeah. 
What are defiled bones? Those are things you... Oh, forging material. Okay, that's cool. Grab those. Uh, new chalice. This is lightning resin, physical resistance, and health regen. Those two health regen, just physical resistance. So we will swap. See what the skeletons can do just by themselves. So I feel like I'm just destroying everything. Okay, that's some good damage you did. Okay, they're pretty good. They're rocking pretty good. Number one, I do not need that. The Necromancer... I'm sorry, the Acolyte is just flying through this. Uh, nope. Some gloves and some boots. Okay, equipped the gloves already. My scythe, though, does not do any damage. 20 damage. New level. Uh, this is a shrine, I think? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, there's no enemies to, sh to stun, so... How about now? Oh, there we go, yeah! And my health regens so fast that I'm really not even worried about it using health to cast the spell. I suppose in, like, boss or, you know, incredibly tough situations you might be down to it, but by the time that happens I should have enough uh, points and skills to not really even matter. No more than normally appears. Skeletons are doing some work. I just realized I forgot my uh, ghost bombs. Time to drop that. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Yeah. Wrong button. Yes, that's good. Those, they died before I even needed to use it. They would have. Oh, there we go. Nope, and dead. I'm 
just wrecking these vine crawlies here. Just wrecking them. Wait, do I have a passive point? I think I do. Passives. Yep, passive point. Um, minion armor. I still don't even need minion armor at all yet, so... Minion damage. Do I have a point? I got a point I can put in here. Cool. Alright, so we'll do one more for uh, Conviction. So then I can get another Skeleton Warrior next try, next uh, level. Glad I went ahead and saw that, otherwise I'd probably just keep doing damage. I mean, line them up and take them out. And then my health just regenerates so quick, I don't even need to worry about it. Also say the effects are very good. I really like the effects. I mean the blood spatter is great. I mean it's just it's all over the place. It's not it doesn't feel like it's too much. Although I am questioning maybe why the uh vine crawlers have blood. Uh, maybe like a, a, a green substance would be more appropriate. Okay, maybe it is green. But it's still kind of bloody. Ah whatever. No, let's figure this out. Okay, so it's definitely red. That's that's definitely blood. Alright, all that's blood. Ah. Yeah, see, spine crawlers, that's fine. Spine hogs can have blood. Or you know what, maybe that's from my blood. I just realized. Okay, let's let's not use my blood for these guys. Uh, okay, yeah, that is my blood. Duh. Okay, so they do bleed green. So back to my uh, compliments of the effects. Yeah, they're, they're good. I like them. I like the splatter. The actual effects themselves. They don't... They don't... It's not boomerangs or uh, fireworks. You know, it's... It's not like a whole gush of blood exploding off of her when she does her blood leech. It's just... Simple. That's, that's not overbearing. It's not like in your face and exploding blood everywhere. A little, a little gush of blood pops out and some bones throw forward. Simple and straight to the point. Simple is not really the right word, but you know, you know what I mean. Understated. You want understatedness. So when you have your big explosion. Or your, I guess, your heavy attack, it makes sense. Or when something magical does happen, it feels more magical rather than everything just being magical all the time. Loot. Spawned a skeleton instead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Two melee, one archer. Oh yeah, line them up. Line them up. And then regen my health. Not like I really needed to regen my health, but... Let's put myself on a little artificial danger to start off with. This guy already. Throw my ghost around. Oops, ghost went in the wrong area. Did they just spawn around where you are? I think they just spawn around where you are. Oh my holy shit, that almost killed me. I got on the, like two health. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching my uh, cooldown. Damn, they just touched him. Okay, these things are crazy. 
Oh shit, a, ooh, a unique relic. Wow. So is there magic find in this? Because it doesn't seem to have any effects. I found a unique item in all three characters so far. Oh, plus 38 health and health regen. That'll be helpful for my uh, Maro shards. 5% of current health drained per second for 4 seconds when you use a potion. It's an interesting negative perk. 30% less void, narcotic, and poison damage taken. And 34 necrotic damage to melee attacks and spells for 4 seconds on potion use. Okay, so 5% of current health is drained for 4 seconds, but then you gain 8, but then you have 8%, oh, 8% reduced health regen. Okay, I didn't read that right. Well, we'll see if that uh, plays a cost at all in me spamming my Maro shards. But otherwise, I gain lightning res, physical res, and plus three health regen. 8% increased health regen? 8% reduced health regen. Oh, that's what that... No, is that... Okay, that's what that does. So I gain some health, <laughs> and... Everything else is a negative. <laughs> so I take less da- I don't know if that's actually any good. Alright, I take less void damage, necrotic and poison damage. That's after I use a potion. I gain 34 necrotic damage to spells, but that's after I use a potion. Otherwise, it's just 36 to health. Yeah, this thing sucks. You get 3 to vitality and 36 to health, sure, but how much health do I actually lose? 170 to 124, so I lose 20. Or 50. I mean, I'm not getting hit by physical regen. I don't know. Alright, alright, we'll keep the plus health. <clears throat> we'll keep the plus health. Technical difficulty there, and the microphone came, my headset came unplugged. All right, uh, what was the new skill? Bone Curse. Apply a curse to enemies for eight seconds. That causes physical damage when hit. The damage is tripled if you inflict the damage yourself. All right, so, but this is kind of where I get a little wary, All right? Because I only have five skill slots. Hmm. I guess I'll give up heart the entire point of heart. I mean, I don't really need bone curse, honestly. I'm destroying people as it is. We'll hold off on that. Though I'm really not using slice or the Reaper sword. I took I took him out pretty damn quick. All right, maybe curse is pretty helpful. Yeah, the damage taken when not using the curse is noticeably less. So that took a couple seconds to get through. That took an incredibly less amount of time, and those are high health enemies. Let's 
Just murder. Murder, red rum. I'll explore some more. Clear this area, you get to level 8. Careful. Careful, me. Alright, yeah, two, two melees. But finally, a new garb. So I'm not using my uh, outcast rags. Uh oh. It's creepy. Still a creepy. Alright, yes, please, please put the clothes on. spamming my uh, curse there. Who are you? There's too many of them. No, there's not. Oh, there's the storage building. Okay. There's the storage building quest guy. I level, that's right. I <laughs> always forget I level. Uh, Alright, we'll keep... We'll do some armor, I suppose. What does intelligence do? Grants forward retention and improves skills that rely on carefully studied magic, such as rip blood and summon skeleton. Alright, we'll put some points into uh, some knowledge, I guess. And for my skill, don't have another one of these yet. Getting there. I think I want to switch up. No, I don't. If I start switching up, I'll make myself even more confused. Nope, don't go back out to the walls. God damn, I always do that. Droid. Damn. I am forever going to do that thinking I'm doing something else. I know if I put it to anything else, I'm going to screw that up too, so. I'll we'll just get used to this control. Oh, that hurts of barrels too, huh? I knew it exploded barrels, but it's interesting to get a health orb from that. I am still forgetting that I have mass explosion here. Use it here. <laughs> Leave my skeletons alone. Alright, so... 13 to mana, 11 to health. Uh, Aerith Compare. So I'm not getting hit, so we're just gonna... swap out. Yeah, we'll swap out. More to life, more to mana. See a little corner in the map that makes you want to go explore it. But there is nothing here. Pop, pop, pop. Huh. 
Getting through these guys is pretty easy with the Necromancer. The Acolyte. Sorry, Acolyte. Not a Necromancer yet. I have an Acolyte. And the Skeletons took him out before I even got there, really. Uh, oh, that's crafting. Okay. Bone Mask. And an Acolyte-specific helmet? Huh. I don't even have a helm yet. I'm curious. Do you only find specific armor? Like, I, what would I have found a helm for the uh, Sentinel in here? Maybe I haven't been paying enough attention. I'll maybe pay attention to that. Oh, fireballs. So the Acolyte definitely can't get hit. That damage is no joke, though. Good God. Absolutely wrecked him. The same bone mask I have. Except, oh, no. That one's got 13 resistance. Oh, wait. That's 10 poison. It's 13 poison. Okay, bye bye. That one exploded better. The other, the other one I just kind of ran into and exploded. How did you get here? Passive point. Okay, cool. All right, shard through all of them. And it shard through them. Easy. <laughs> Look at them running. <laughs> They're running from my skeletons. Uh, Alright, that's gonna be better. Swap that out. Two more percent increase your run speed. Now we're going to put out another warrior. I was going to try two archers, but in these areas, I think two warriors might be better. I'm ripping them apart. I mean, it's not even a challenge for the skeleton warriors. Who are you? I'll take them out. I'm going in. That's what they all say. Another passive point. Good lord. Loves giving me passive points. So we got a new area here, a new tier. What is this? Each point of vitality grants 6 health and 1%. Okay, so that's just adding more health. Dark Rituals, Minion Attack and Cast, and mana, man, Mania of Mortality. Ward is an overshield. More, <laughs> Ward is an overshield shield. <laughs> I feel like that may have needed to have been uh, maybe reworded a bit. Ward is an overshield shield that protects your health. It has no maximum and decays over time. Ward gained on nearby death. 13 mana points. Okay, so that's just a ward to save your ass. Whenever a nearby enemy ally or minion dies, you have a 10% chance to gain a ward. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go with... Um, I guess... We'll do attack speed and cast speed. Minions have interior attack speed. Bonus applies if you have minion skill within the last 10 seconds. Okay. What is this? Hungering Souls. Calls forth five Hungering Souls that seeks out enemies. On hit, they deal necrotic damage and then possesses the target. Possess enemies take necrotic damage over time for one and a half seconds. Enemies cannot be possessed by multiple souls at once. That might be better than my... Uh, 
Oh, I have another one. Alright, we'll, we'll do. We'll keep doing damage. That might be better than the uh, wandering spirits. The wandering spirits just. Ah, I'm not really liking them. They do awesome damage. They do insane damage. But the cooldown. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. All right, let's go find uh, Belthor. Oh, I got one more. Yep, I got one more boss guy to go through here. Oops. Negative mana. I don't even messing around with the skulls. Just, just take them out. What am I doing? Sitting here throwing skulls at them. Damn. The Mar How do the Morrow Shards do so much more? Bone Mask of the Turtle. Armor and Poison Resist. Plus more armor. Whatever. Magical is always better than normal. That's what I say, even if it's not true. Let's swap these out. Uh, get Hungering Souls here. Skeletons here. And respawn. Respawn the skeletons. You're here to help. Hello, Flower Man. Alright. Protect the shard. Send out a bunch of those guys. Oh, the Phoenix. Throw bones at him. What does that do? Does that not even hit him? Oh, only one hits him. Oh, okay, that's right. Get out of that. Alright, no more dicking around. Oh, he almost took me out. Got him. Okay, so that's one one bone per hit. Or one skull per hit. Right, that's for uh that's for that's for the masses, I suppose. Two scepters. Why would it give me a magical scepter and then a rare scepter? Alright, what do I got? I got... Plus three spell damage. That gives me 11% increased spell damage. Plus another three spell damage. Uh, I'll lose... I guess I don't even know if they're freezing or not, to be honest. I have not been paying attention to that. Or this guy. Cold damage, melee hit. This is all for melee hits, though. I'm not I'm not swinging. Oh, so I guess that Reaper spell is a Reaper blade no matter what weapon you use. Hmm... Alright, let's just do direct... Oh, what happened? Do direct... Com oh. Uh, what are we doing here? We're doing 73. Now we're doing 69. Giggity. Now we're doing 62. 73. It's more than all of them. Yeah. Oh, that's for smacking people. I'm not smacking. We talked to Belfour... Or Belfast. First, the green for the howling monster. Would you hear 
Well a lot of talking. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. I don't. My skeletons are taking them out before I can even know what's going on. Wondering, do you get another summon character? Summon volatile zombie. Okay. Oh, it's a kamikaze zombie. Summon bone golem. There we go. There's a golem. Whatever infernal shade is. That takes them out pretty quick, too. Broken sword? Why? What? For what? A rare broken sword? Or a dark... What is dark broken sword? A dark weapon? Or is that what? No, that's not dark. Dark broken sword of sleet. Oh, that's just the name of it. Okay. But, but uh, <laughs> that's interesting. A rare broken sword. I mean, yeah, plus three melee lightning, plus seven void. Percent chance to chill on hit. Increased stun chance. That's actually pretty good perks. <laughs> I mean, it swings the same distance as a uh, scepter. That's interesting. Broken swords, huh? Oh, I haven't seen one of those yet. That was a giant boy. Physical damage shard. You rare amulet. Let's see what we got. Oh, got, when did I get rare boots? I don't remember getting those. When did I get those? I don't know. Better than what I got. Uh, so we got health and fire damage and getting resistance. Ah, oh, minion damage. Okay. And cast speed. Done. So once you transfer materials into your crafting section, they're set there, I'm assuming, right? You can't bring them back out, so that means you can't transfer them to another character. I'm assuming that's correct. I'm assuming if you don't transfer them, you can put them into a, your stash. So maybe I'll hang on to that... Uh, what was it? Shard of melee damage. I'll give that to my sentinel. Probably already have one. Another amulet. Check that out. This is... Melee attack, throw speed, physical damage. Yeah, I'm not going to need that. Nothing to stun. Sending out a billion of these guys. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright. Glyph of Chaos. There's another broken sword. Another dark broken sword. So dark is just void 
void damage, I guess. Even when I'm stuck and surrounded, I just throw a couple uh, skulls out and everything's done. Magnificent. Oh, there's some more. Magnificent. Some more physical damage. A tome. And an amulet. I don't know any of that. hit me with that shit. Did I get level 8 yet? I got level 8, right? Yes, I did. Alright, let's go and check out my next specialization. Um, so we'll do more uh, forbidden knowledge, I guess, in set. Spells that rely I don't know. Can't do uh, vitality. Increase minion attack speed. No, not using the ward. I really don't. They don't need health. They really don't need health or armor. At least not yet. When they start dying more, maybe I'll do that. But for now, we'll just keep swinging and attacking. Um, skills. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right, there we go. We'll get a uh, summon more skeletons. Plus one. And I'm definitely using Maro shards more than anything else. Well, there's probably something in there that decreases uh, the health that you take when you cast it as well. I mean, are people really going to max out Rip Blood? I, I guess, right? I mean, People do eventually. Alright, Maro Shards. Although, I'm probably gonna want Curse, aren't I? Well, because I'm probably gonna ditch Maro Shards when I get later down the line, but we can cross that bridge when I get there. I'll do curse. Larger area. Slows enemies. That's nice. Deals more damage. <laughs> Iron Maiden. <laughs> um, so we'll do a we'll slow him. We'll slow him. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, summon another skeleton. So it's always going to be two and two now. All right, always going to be two and two. And we're back at the northern road. The waypoint. Nice. Let's so let Belfast get taken. No, you're not gonna find out. Good. No. Let's fight him. No, we're just gonna cower in fear. Oh come on, we could have fought him. 
staff disappeared. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay. All right, so. By far, have the easiest time so far with the Acolyte. The damage that she does is insane. Massive damage. Uh, all, the, all the skills still feel really good to use. Um, same from the mage. Um, all the casting's really nice. It's really cool. It's not overpowered or overstated. Still just... The models and textures are still kind of just... Some of them throwing me. But some of them are really well. Like This detail back here is great. Why couldn't that same detail be applied to like the skeletons? But, I mean... Maybe, maybe that'll pass over time. But overall, um, you know, very necromancer-esque vibes. You got your summoning, bone skills, blood spills, curses. That might be the only curse, and you just kind of make it better. Um, but yeah, overall, the Acolyte felt really good to use. Really powerful. Very, very powerful. This is... It's very... Nice. Very nice. Okay. So there's uh, the Acolyte. I enjoyed the Acolyte. Continue using the Acolyte further on. And we'll try out the next one. Um, speak with Leanne... No, Lena, that her name? Lena. Alright, so let's 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 look at something here. Look at look at her face. This is a stout adventurer. I would almost maybe mistake her for like the build of a hobbit. Like it's just built. Like very built. Her face is ginormous. And just her art Everything okay? Just does not reflect that. Oh, it's like it looks so good here. Oh, you can, like, it's it looks so good. For some reason, the quality and detail of the 2D art just is not transferring to the 3D model very well. Like, it's it's really likely about texture resolution. But it's so jarring to like see how she looks here and then see how she looks here. Like, she looks like a dumpy fool here, but here she looks like, and a, you know, a young adventurer. I'm kind of questioning her position as a keeper. She looks so young. Oh well. Alright, uh, we'll get on to the next character. He's gone. Thanks for watching these first impressions, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this run through, consider hitting that like button. And remember to subscribe for more Last Epoch and other ARPG gameplay analytics. See you on the next one. Adios.